Hey everyone, you're watching Big Drone Flyer 77RC. When we return, I'm going to go and do an unboxing of the Potenzik. This is the Dreamer 4K right after this, guys. Hey, welcome back everybody. Donnie here. Thanks for joining me today on this edition of Big Drone Flyer 77RC. Hey, today I got the Pontensic. This is a Dreamer 4K. It's a big old box here, so it's brushless, GPS, and the camera is fixed, but it will angle up and down, so there is no working gimbal on this. Um, I'm going to just do an unboxing, you guys. Uh, do the coronavirus. Our governor here in California just uh, did another shutdown. So I have to check my area to see if I can go to the park and be able to fly. Um, you know, if I do, I, I just want to make sure I'm doing everything right. So, but anyways, I'm going to do an unboxing. And if you're new to this channel, um, I like to go and review RCs, modify them, and fly drones. Yeah, anything to do with RCs, you can find it here on this channel uh, to a certain point, you guys. So, uh, but a lot of it's a lot of uh, test products that I get and I review them. And then there's a lot that I buy that I go and mod and, and run myself. So you guys can check out a lot of those videos as well. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and open up the box, get everything out, and show you what's inside. And then uh, if I have enough room on my table, maybe be able to show you how to go and calibrate and get it set up for when you are ready to fly. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I got everything out of the box. And this thing looks really neat. I mean, it feels nice. It's really lightweight without the battery, of course, and you're going to have to remove this foam. Uh, the camera itself is 4K um, when you're taking pictures. I think it's 8 megapixels uh, pixel is what the camera is. And then it shoots in seven, uh, 2.7K in video uh, format. Uh, I didn't see what uh, the actual uh, frames per second. I don't see it on here. I'm thinking it's probably only going to be, you know, 25 probably. Uh, that's usually what the standard is uh, so I'm just letting you guys know that uh, this manual here it's got a nice little manual that gets you all set up which I'm gonna do the calibration I don't have much room right here but I'll do a calibration outdoors when I go to fly it show you guys how to do that in a video uh, which is really basic when you fire up the app it's pretty much gonna um, you know detail all that in in the app settings uh, but you do need to uh, update the drone when you first get it if it hasn't been updated I'll show you how to check that as well um, this drone here um, isn't too bad at all I just the only problem with it is that it don't have uh, a gimbal so it, it can only go up and down and you can see this is let me pull this off this is where you're gonna go and put the memory card so you want a class 10 about a 32 gigabyte uh, card so pull that out of there uh, the run in this so that way you don't get no skip frames and things like that so get a halfway decent card you guys you can even get a 16 uh, gigabyte you know it just depends on how long you want to film I was looking down below and I don't see no optical flow sensor so um, I don't see no camera there so anyways I was gonna tell you a little more detail on this real quick here um, with this one here it's supposedly supposed to I guess the max uh, horizontal speed is supposed to be uh, 8 meters per second in sport mode and then 5 meters per second in standard mode flight time is supposed to be 31 minutes but I'll have to test that out uh, I'm sure you're gonna get in the 20 minute range hopefully um, Here's a little information, and I'll put it in. I'll put it in uh, the description as well. But you can see it's not fully running full um, 4K, but only when it's in pictures, 8 uh, megapixel. So you're only going to get like 4K snapshots. Uh, video resolution is going to be 2.7K while filming. Okay, so and it's telling you what uh, supporting file system. It's a FAT32. And the image format is uh, JPEG, uh, so that's what it's going to run. Video format will be uh, MP4. So uh, that one's a, the AVC, that one's the H.264. Uh, uh, the SD card is saying you can run 4 to 256 gigabytes uh, <laughs> with transmission speed of uh, class 10 and above, which is pretty crazy. That's a big memory card, you guys. So. 
I guess you can go up to 256 gigabytes. That's a lot. That's more than I'm going to run in there. So, But it tells you a little more detail in here. I'll leave all that in the descriptions below. Uh, you got your little startup kit here to, so you can find uh, the Pontensic uh, Dreamer app. So it's going to be the Pontensic Pro for Android or iOS. So you can either scan the QR code or just uh, look it up on your Android or iOS. Here is the charger, which only charges the, the drone battery. So you'll plug this in the back here, plug that in, plug it into the wall, and then all you gotta do is slide this charger up on here. So that's basically it, slam the charger in there, then it's ready to charge. And when it's fully charged, these will all be lit up green and they won't be flashing anymore. So it'll be ready to go. And this battery kind of sets up just like, uh, it's kind of like, like a DJI drone, if anybody's ever messed with one. Uh, when you go to start up the drone, you're gonna press it once and then hold down and it'll start it up. And then shut it down, you'll do the same. And it'll shut it down. That's how you start up the drone and shut it off and even the battery when you're checking it. So it does have a smart, uh, battery so hopefully that lasts pretty good you do have a little micro USB charger which I don't like that much but you're only charging your controller which slides out these are your antennas and then you're probably wondering where in the heck the sticks are they actually hit them inside here which is pretty cool so you can take them off and put them on so they just pop out of here and then you can screw them onto the top of the toggles so so pretty pretty simple you guys I'll put those on real quick all right those just screw on top there get in the light here there we go so that should be uh, ready to go they feel pretty good actually controllers kind of wide I'm sure when I put my phone in there it's gonna be a little further apart so uh, but I'm using my phone to record today guys so I can't put it on there but you have your sport mode over to the right left is just standard mode you got your return to home and then your take off and land. Then up here is to control the camera up and down. Uh, this one right here is to control the camera brightness. So you can darken it or lighten up the camera brightness right here, you guys. So um, back to the charging. Here's the port right here on the back, you guys. So you just plug that micro C in there and then plug it into your computer or put an adapter on here and plug it in the wall and you can charge the controller, which you'll start showing right here. And this one, you should be able to just start it up by holding the button down, and then it's going to start up. So let me shut that back down. Uh, you do have the camera buttons on the back here. Take a photo, and this one is to film. Just remember to go and hold it for a few seconds while you're filming to shut it back off so you can save your film. That way it doesn't get corrupted in case you shut the drone off or the battery um, ends up uh, depleting and you lose your film. So. But that's basically it on that, you guys. So you do get six propellers. You only get two spares. So these propellers, um, I don't know, they feel all right, but they feel, they don't feel like they flex a lot. So I don't want to go and bend it and show you how much bend you can get out of it. I feel it would break. So, but uh, I'm sure it's going to do the job. They do have it marked. So that way you know which one's what for each side. This one says CW. And there's a CW right here and these are just gonna go just gonna line them up then you're gonna push down and this one the CW you're gonna turn to the left and then this one is another CW so it'll be on the opposite side so I'm gonna turn the motor a little bit until it latches and then I'm gonna turn it to the left and it'll lock so here's CCW Gonna go on this side. Now I'm gonna turn to the right with that one. It'll lock since the motors they spin opposite. So I'm gonna turn this to the right. Now it's locked. It's ready to go. Now you're able to go and put the battery in and be ready to go. But if you're doing any firmware or any kind of updates like that, then I suggest you go and keep the battery. I mean, keep the propellers off uh, so that way you don't. Uh, you don't injure yourself so I'm gonna slide this battery in it's the first time I'm putting the battery in here I'm just gonna turn on just to hear the sound double press 
So it's kind of got that uh, kind of like a Bugs, like MJX type of tune when it fires up. Should bind right when you turn on the controller. And for some reason, if it doesn't bind, you guys, what you could do is shut the controller back down, turn the drone on, but it did connect. It did connect. Everything's lit up. And for some reason, if yours does not go in... Um, connect where this goes solid and the drone goes solid it doesn't flash anymore the way to do that is to uh, go ahead and turn on the controller by pressing this toggle hold it down hold the power button down all right now it's ready to bind with the drone so just in case you had to order a controller or it wasn't bound now you turn on the controller it should find it should link together Okay, so what I did, I don't know if I did that to where I went up and down and it, and it connected, but um, you shouldn't have to do that, but uh, it should connect automatically. I just happened to just see because it was taking a little longer than it should, but I think I just didn't wait long enough. It'll find the signal, connect, and then you reconnect you guys. Just in case you ever lose connection, just hold down this toggle, have the drone off, have the power off, hold down the toggle, clicking you can hear that click when you press on it and then you turn the power on and then you turn the drone on and it'll take a few probably about a minute or less and then it will connect to the drone so I just wanted to show you that I'll show you how to go and do the calibration outdoors because I got such a small area to do this you know and you're just gonna go and rotate this um, so I'll show that outdoors but for now I just wanted to show the initials preparing for a startup and then I'm going to show you though on the app how to go and uh, update the firmware or at least check for it. And I know this one's going to have a, a firmware update. So it's pretty simple. So I'm going to go to a screen recording on the phone, show you that, and then I'll be back. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do is get in your Wi Fi settings. You're going to go and look for your drone on here. Should be putting out a signal here. And I got tons of stuff uh, showing here so I have to search for the drone there it is Bontenzik the password is one two three four five six seven eight and then press join you should be connected so I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this I'm gonna go to my apps I'm gonna look up the Bontenzik Pro all right so right now it says drone flight control upgrades upgrade information so I'm gonna to go to upgrade so it's automatically letting me know so make sure your battery's charged and your phone is charged up or what device you're using to uh, fly this drone this is a 5g Wi-Fi network so uh, you do have to have 5g on this one so make sure you do that um, check your mobile device make sure it is 5g uh, compatible so that way you can be able to go on this okay it just made a beep right now you guys heard that in the background success now it should be ready uh, to connect and I should be able to uh, there we go you guys are gonna see the X max there so it's uh, under repair with the tires there so all right so you see that that's connected we got that fixed you can go up to the settings you can either go in beginner mode or shut off be beginner mode which I'm going to do right there you can set your altitude you can set your distance we'll do all that outside and then you can do your circle flight settings um, how you want to adjust those but like I said I'll do all that outside uh, when we do the flight I just wanted to show you this how to how to go and uh, update the software which it automatically pops up for you guys so um, you can check firmware updates um, I believe it's in it's in one of these modes here I'm going to give you a lot of information so about you're going to go to general okay it's already it's already got the latest uh, firmware so it's letting you know but it would be in this general settings you guys okay 
So let me get back to the camera here. All right, so that's basically it, you guys. I appreciate you watching. Sorry I couldn't do a flight at this time. I'm gonna check the parks. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll go in and test fly it out here in our uh, our apartment uh, facility. Uh, you know, I'd like to have more room, but if I have to, I could at least test it there and see how it does and see what the camera looks like. So I may have to do that, you guys. So I appreciate Pontensics for sending this out. Uh, don't worry guys when I do the flight. I'll go into detail for uh, How to calibrate the the compass it does have glow NOS and uh, GPS so it's running off USA satellites and uh, Russian satellites, so you're gonna have double the satellites, which is awesome I just can't wait to fly this see how well it flies. I'm sure the camera is gonna be you know hit and miss with it since it don't have no gimbal but we'll try it out and see what happens so all right thanks for watching guys thanks again Pontensic for sending this out guys it's the dreamer Pontensic I'll leave a link down in the descriptions and don't forget to hit the like subscribe and notifications so you can see that flight coming up so all right like always guys God bless cheers and happy flying <laughs>